Where's my hog? By Amy Hest, illustrated by Anita Jerome. Why? Where's my hog? Me. Originally published as Don't You Feel Well, Sam? By Amy Hess, illustrated by Anita Jerome. It was a cold, cold night and plum sleep. And the little white house. Mrs. Bear was putting Sam to bed. She closed her favorite book and they both blew up the candle, kiss good night, Sam. Mrs. Bear sat and she wrapped him real cozy in blanket and that was wet. Okay. But suddenly, she heard a cough, heck, heck, and there sat Sam cold up, and small and coughing in his bed. <gasps> Is Sam getting sick? Oh, poor Sam. Mrs. Bear put her arm around Sam. Don't you feel well, Sam? Sam shook his head. Hick, hick, poor Sam. Mrs. Bear hugged him harder and kissed his warm cheek. You have a cough, she said. And she dashed down the stairs and up again with a soap. Sir. Hmm. Open wide, Sam, Mrs. B. Dad, Sam shook his head. Taste bad, he said. Yes, said his mama. You need to be brave, Sam. Put the blanket over his head. I, on his head, I don't have a cough. Hick, hick. He does have a cough. <coughs> <laughs> he does have a cough. <coughs> Try again, Sam. That is mother. Sam shook S the, his mom. Try again, Sam. That is mom. Sam shook the blanket off his head. He opened up and he closed. His mouth tight. The spoon was too big. Too big, said Sam. <coughs> you can do it, Miss Bear said. I know you can, Sam. Sam opened up the closed his mouth tight. Too much soap on a too big spoon. Who wants such Sam? This is where rumbled through us. What the fool us? Mrs. Bear was the fool us off the window and peeked outside. Soon there was small snow, she said. Open wide, Sam, and afterward, we'll go downstairs and wait for snow. Hmm. That sounds interesting. You gotta be brave, Sam. No, Sam opened, opened wide and very wide. He sputtered and snorted and a big face. And the soap went down. Believe Sam. That Mrs. Bear and Sam held hands on the seal. Sam wore his wool as was blue, and his slippers were too. 
look at how cute Sam. And her mother is wearing a green thing and black and an orange shoe. No shoes. They lit a little fire in the kitchen. Then they made a pot of tea. <sighs> Mrs. Bear put actual honey in the tea. It was nice writing that. That don't look like a tea. That looks like a cake cup. And it's that a, it's a tea pot. Well, it looks like a cake cup because this thing looks like a cake. I know. It looks pretty. After tea, they sat in a big purple chair. In the big purple chair near the window and waited for snow. Mrs. Bear told the story about a bear called Sam. Sam liked the story. So she told it again. Hick, hick. <coughs> when the cold. Every now and then. But Sam got brave and he, he took the medicine. Sam leaned the back on his mama's soft belly and looked good. It. 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 Oh, it wiggled. Rig wad. Rig wad. Wriggled. Wriggled. While she took the little fire gold and the kitchen was warm. All through the night, Mrs. Bear and Sam sat in a purple chair and waited. Big purple seal and wait. Why is the tree filled with glass and no snow? But it's starting. And finally, it's snow. But some was already fell asleep. And then they made a snowman. In the morning. The next morning.